Hey guys, it's Bonnie. Today I am here to talk to you about my all-time favorite book characters. So I am just going to show you my top five male and female characters because that's kind of how I've split it up. So yeah, let's get right into it. Start with the male characters. Yes. Coming in at number five is Liam Stewart from The Darkest Minds. Yeah, I love Liam, although not as much as the series progresses and in the afterlight there's there's a little it gets kind of annoying but i really loved him in this book and i love this series overall and liam he's just a great character he really is like i don't know he cares so much about the people that you know he cares about and he does everything he can to do for them and i yep i, I love him a lot Next we have Sirius Black from the Harry Potter series. Sirius had always been my all-time favorite character when reading these books and yeah, I love Sirius so much. He is just the father figure that Harry never got to have and he deserved and like really, really J.K. Rowling, really, I just... emotions. Coming in at number three is Gansey from The Raven Boys, although honestly, I wanted to include Gansey and Ronan and Noah and Adam in this list, but I figured I should just pick one of them. So out of all of them, Gansey is my favorite. I love him so much. He is just so whimsical and just, I just, he's, I just, oh God, Gansey is great. It's really hard to describe the characters in the Raven Boys series because they're just so different than any characters that you will ever see. So. Read this series if you haven't, yeah. Coming in at number two is Mal from Chateau and Bone, the Grisha trilogy. Yeah, I know, I am one of the few who stand for Mal, but you know, he's, he's my type. He's my kind of hunter soldier boy that just, he cares, but he also does what he has to do and I just love him so much. If you're not on Mal's team, then like, Whatever, if you want to ship the Darkling in her, or Nikolai in her. The Darkling, I don't understand. I don't understand you. Nikolai, I could understand. But, I mean, Mal is where it's at. He's where my heart is at. And my number one favorite male character should come as a surprise to no one. I mean, it's Gail Hawthorne from The Hunger Games. Are you shocked? Are you... Are you shocked? Are you... Are you shocked? I have this t-shirt custom made for myself to wear to the Mockingjay. <laughs> no, a lot of people don't like Gail, but honestly, I don't understand why you don't like Gail. Like, I could make a whole video on Gail Hawthorne, and I might do so, maybe closer to Mockingjay. I'm just gonna make a whole freaking video of why you should like Gail Hawthorne, because you should like Gail Hawthorne. You should love this character so much and if you don't like him you should have valid reasons besides the majority of the reasons that the fandom has they're bullshit i'm sorry you're wrong i'm not even sorry i'm not i'm not even sorry so riddle me this you people that watch the 100 i am also in that group here's what i don't understand you all love bellamy blake you love him you defend him you you love bellamy blake please realize that bellamy blake and gail hawthorne are so freaking similar in the same exact ways ugh and so is Mal so is Mal so is Gail so is Bellamy they're all the same and yet you guys you hate these two but you love Bellamy cause you don't see the truth got way out of hand so let's move into the female characters shall we it's really hard for me to kind of rank my list of females because I just there are so many female characters that I just love and adore. So just know that literally all of these characters have been number one probably at some point in my fandom life. But right now this is kind of where they rank. Well, coming at number five is Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games. Katniss is my homegirl. I love her so much. I don't like where Suzanne Collins took Mockingjay and took her overall story arc. I don't like that part so that's probably why she's a little lower. But other than that, she's my homegirl and I love her so yes. Coming in at number four is Blue from The Raven Boys. Wow, basically the same books. Are we shocked? I'm not, don't, you shouldn't be surprised. Blue is such a great, great female character. She is very 
independent and she stands up for herself but you know she loves her friends and she's caring and she's witty and sarcastic and I love her. I love Blue. She's very refreshing for a Wyatt character. Coming in at number three is probably like the girl who has been my favorite the longest and that is Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. I didn't feel like grabbing another one of the books so it still puts her basket man. Probably not my favorite Hermione moments in here um because I can't recall but oh she does, she does she punch Malfoy in this one? I think she does so that was great. Anyway Hermione is just such a character to look up to. She cares about school and you know she isn't described as being the most gorgeous person ever although Emma Watson I mean I mean there's just Hermione's great and she's always gonna be great and she's always gonna be one of the characters that have touched me the most in my entire life so yes Hermione Granger. Coming in at number two is Alina from Shadow and Bone, the Grisha trilogy. I've said it so weird every single time. But yes, I love Alina. I love the choices she makes in this book and who she is. She is one of the few people that like, you know, immediately she's like, okay, I have this power, but like, I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I want to learn how to get better at it. I want, I want to be powerful. She wants to be powerful. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. I love her so much. And her journey is kind of heartbreaking in a way. And I just, ugh, 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 Alina, my girl, my girl. And my number one all time favorite female book character is Ruby from The Darkest Minds. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Ruby, my Ruby, my sweet, beautiful Ruby. I named my laptop Ruby after this character, even though it's silver, not anywhere near red. Love Ruby so much. Her journey throughout these books is incredible. She starts off as a monster, you know, hating herself for her power, and she just transforms into something so beautiful. She becomes so freaking strong, and there's a scene at the end of this book that is just so good. It's so... Ugh, I love Ruby so much. I love mm. Also, how do you guys say her last name? I say Dally. That's how I've always said it. But I realized that maybe it's Daly, because like Carson Daly, his name is spelled the same way. Um, but I've always said Dally, so let me know what you guys say down below. And if you know for sure, tell me whether I'm wrong or right, because she's my favorite, so I kind of should know this information. Okay, so those are my current top favorite characters of all time. Obviously, this could easily change. You know, I could read a book, fall completely in love with the characters. But I can tell you that my number one of both is not changing. And my all-time favorite character ever is Gail Hawthorne, and that will never ever change. He's always going to be my favorite, the one I defend and root and stick up for the most. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what some of your favorite characters are down below. I'm sure a lot of you don't agree with mine, but that's okay. You know, we're all doing our own thing. Although, I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna convert you into Gail Hawthorne lovers, so just you wait. Anyway, that is all I have for this video, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye! 4 a.m. beside myself and what I think of mental health All the things that worry me, all the things you don't believe I've been told just what to do Enough! Is this weird? This... Stop! <laughs> my number one favorite male book And yeah, okay that's all I have to say.